having that kind of tool in teams in particular versus these two is going to be really, really strong from Dark Atma and, and Ralph. Yeah. I wonder, I don't think we're going to see Pikachu from Ralph, but... Imagine. Because <laughs> it just changes them everything. I would be very surprised. Teams, right? I would be very, very surprised. <laughs> uh, just missed the character selector. Damn. I think it was Peach. Yeah. All right. No surprises there. FD as the starter. Very common starter stage as far as doubles is concerned. Um, I think especially the red team is trying to avoid those platforms. Already here we see that um, Amso is like kind of stuck in center, wanting to like get to the right side to help the Ices, but just being like kind of boxed in there, you know, from yeah. the Peach's end. That's that split I was talking about earlier too. It's going to be so difficult. I mean, Peach and Fox are two of the best walling characters in the entire game. So as soon as they get that split, either of them can do a good job of holding position while the other one punishes. Okay, not making too much off the, the two-on-one situation there. Ooh, nice fade on that side B. Slug. That was actually a really good save, even though uh, Dark Emma took some percent for it. I think that's very, very worth it if it gets your teammate back into the fray. Wow, that's actually two very early Peach stocks. Mm-hmm. The Yoshi, that's the thing I think with Amsa on teams in particular, and what I noticed and even in Genesis, is that Amsa doesn't die. <laughs> like, I Yoshi is very difficult to KO, and then Amsa knows how to play these kind of positions, right? Yeah. Yeah, he'll be Yoshi. tanking hits up to 180 before you finally take stocks a lot of the times. Mm -hmm. The problem, I think, with this particular team in that kind of situation. How did that he just get away with that? Ices is kind of tough in a two-on-one situation, right? Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, I mean, with the light shield, you can get push away so easily. Mm -hmm. I guess, you know, grab is what you're going to go for primarily to try to get a punish. But right. You have to be quick on that. You, know, you miss it one time, and that's it. Nice job by Ralph, creating a little bit of space. And the double jump armor just breaking everything up. Again, red team's got, again, this is what they want. If they can get any push into the corner, them controlling center is huge. And again, I mean, Ralph just unable to find any space out of the corner. Ooh, that down smash was actually pretty good. Even though it hit Ralph, it created space. Now they've got a split. It kind of got Ralph to back onto stage, too, as well. Okay, yeah. the shine stall here, but yeah, just, just too far off stage. <laughs> he legit shine stalled and then said, you know what, I forget about it. <laughs> I'm just going to come back. Even Dark Ammo can't save me from here. Ooh, great. <laughs> that up actually was really good uh, preventing Yoshi from getting edgeguarded there. They cannot take this Yoshi stock. Oh, no jump there, I believe, though. Finally. I think that's going to be the, the set, right? How are they going to be able to close stocks on Amsa in particular? That yeah, sure seems to be the story so far. Nice. That's Oh, I thought it was going to be too acute of an angle. <laughs> oh, the shorten off the edge cancel hit stun. Oh, Amsa was able to jump up before that shine. That was a little scary for Ralph. It's especially scary for Dark Atma right now, though. Mm, yeah, Dark Emma really couldn't do much there. I think also Yoshi is super strong in the edge guarding, right? And on ledge play. So it's kind of difficult to threaten Yoshi to get off there, especially when there's another Ice Climbers coming at you and nipping at your toes. Uh, that was certainly... Oh my gosh, the F throw. He only got Nana, and I'm actually lived that, though. So it wasn't as good as I thought. And then just the trade. Atma tries to sneak that Nair, but Amsa's ready. Oh, oh! Did that save him? Oh my oh, god. Man. Oh my god! Uh oh Ralph? Oh! Oh my, okay. So he's able to st keep the, the Sopo. That's huge that Sopo stayed alive right there. Still has his double jump. The egg just barely misses. And I do believe that will do it. They have at least, uh, it, it really yeah. feels like they have a good solid understanding on when when and how they want to edge guard, right? Just like someone staying on stage, someone staying on platform. They don't cross wires too much, which is always really nice to see in those kind of two-on-one -on -one situations. Ralph was doing a little bit of a comeback. A little bit of a comeback. I thought for a moment he was just going to hit that early up smash on Popo and we we're going to go to stock to stock. That was It was very close to going down to the wire right there. But now the counter pick is going to be coming out. And as you mentioned, man, this is just such a... I, I don't even know where you'd go well, against I think you go somewhere. Right? I think you go somewhere with some platforms, lower platforms if you mm. can. Uh, story would be the pick. In my opinion. Story, I think, makes sense. I could see Stadium a little bit, too. Well, it just cuts off Amsa's verticality because you have the Peach threat on down smash. Mm, having that top platform does give Amsa and a lot of And it's a like very early KO, and they really need to get those those stocks, those Yoshi stocks. Yeah. Because Amsa's tanking and his ability to hold ledge. Hmm. And he can even create space from ledge with eggs, too. He was doing that a little bit. That's always going to be what Omps is going to be trying to do, I think, in those ledge kind of situations. Yoshi's story looks like it's going to be the pick here. Right. And you 
can see immediately, yeah, Ralph going up to top plat. Trying. They got the split. Let's see how much they can do with it. It'll be a Nana stock at least. Not bad. They can take it. Yeah, that's that's amazing, honestly, to start out that way. Yeah. And look, they get the split again right away. Ooh. 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 That was so nice for Ralph to just knock away Yoshi a little bit with the light moves too, by the way. Doing yeah. like jab and doing like and the forward, forward air. air. Yeah, it was so good. And then having the recognition to come back down and do the up air. That yeah, was his, wild. His target swapping was perfect there. <laughs> the light shield never fails to amuse me. Because <laughs> yeah. there's no visual cue and they look the same, right? So you're always yeah. like, oh, you're just shielding normally. And then that egg Psych. slides half the stage away. <laughs> oh, wow. Slug doing an excellent job so far holding on to this, this Popo stock. Ralph's reactions do seem really solid, though. Just whenever Dark Atma throws or has like any kind of sequence towards him. Oh, that was such a good up smash by Amza. And then Slug comes down immediately. I thought for a moment, yeah, blue team might. Oh, there's the down Aww. smash. Fox gets caught for a moment. But... So good, especially on the ICs. Really good switching from from Dark oh, Atma that's there. Huge. It felt like he was gonna keep going on Yoshi and instead of reads the jump. Ooh, little three hit combo on the Peach. Okay, yeah, Ralph going to do a decent job holding center. They keep the split. Amsa, I like the idea of trying to help there. But Yoshi just a little too slow. I, and that down smash has, I think, 8 million frames of cooldown. <laughs> All you the time a, in the world. You do have a long time to punish it. Especially with your teammate not even there. Ooh, good combo. Ralph not being able to close it out. Yeah, he does a good job dealing with the 2v1. But Amsa has actually been sharking jumps so well. Caught a, a Peach stock earlier with a, a relatively low percent up air, and then catches that full hop from Fox, too. The nice part about Amsa, too, as well, he knows how to, like, just shorten the combo into a down smash right away, right? Which is still yep. so good, especially on Fox. Oh, he completely recognizes the importance of hit and then be, you know, ready to react. Mm -hmm. He's like, don't try to go for extended stuff if you don't need to. You don't have the time. Ooh, man. So that situation right there, okay, we saw a moment where the red team was on the left side of the stage completely, uh, side plat and bottom stage, and blue team was on the other side. Red team fighting for center is where they're losing a lot on this stage. They're still keeping this relatively even. I'm at this high percent. If you can hold on to this stock for a bit. Oh, oh, oh no. Peach lives. Okay. Almost. Man, that, that's honestly almost such a huge uh, turnaround if, if Peach gets KO'd over there, but... Oh, and Nana still lives somehow with the cloud! <laughs> okay, the that, cloud saving Nana? Yeah, Randall came in the clutch there. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my gosh. How in the heck did the Alper not KO? Ooh, I'm so not oh my gosh. To get the edge guard on, on the Fox. Ralph a bit of a punching bag, and Dark Atma was not able to help him there. Also gets taken out off the grab. Ooh. Oh, but they are able to seal that. Ralph just needs to play it safe. They need to rely on Atma here. I agree. Because, I mean, Down Smash will definitely send Fox flying right now. Yeah, that was really good. He just sets up on the side plat. Don't go for the trade. Yeah, if he tries to go for upper there, he can get traded off with Nair and lose his stock. Yeah, sending Atma in first is definitely the, the right call here. Even but if he's Atma having some trouble, though. I got to yeah, say, Amsa is kind of giving him the business. <laughs> okay, okay. That's that the scary part about smash. doing that. That's the scary part about doing that. But yeah. I think even if you lose neutral like four times, it's like, okay, you still got... They had the a percentage that a, they had. A lot to work with. They yeah, exactly. Yeah, the percentage was in their favor. <laughs> but we're in for a set. The counter pick works. 1-1. One, one. I mean, losing on Yoshi's there would have been so tough to make their comeback in the set. Down 2-0 after losing on... I mean, I think that is a pretty strong counter pick there, too. Right? Mm -hmm. Not very... Uh, not very friendly to the to the to those two characters. And the thing, too, is uh, Ice Climbers, like, they deal well with wide stages. So also cutting off on a short, you know, ground floor, uh, like Yoshi's, just makes them even harder to do anything with, really. That makes sense. Got a oh. nice little push on Amsa in the corner. Yeah, it doesn't overextend it, too, because understanding that Yoshi has so many defensive tools to get out of there, it's yeah. way better just go for the two-on-one. Exactly, yeah. I mean, they, they got to be, what, mid-60% off that? Mm -hmm. Ooh, and that is a very, very early Soko kill. This low stage, even though they have no top plat to worry about now, and the wider bottom floor for Icy's to kind of help out with, that low ceiling is going to be really tough with Box Up Smash. Mm. Not being able to get the KO there on top on uh, Dark Atma is kind of big. Nice. Okay. Gets okay. it there. Oh! <laughs> oh! Nana taunting for no reason. Oh, unsafe ledge grab by Ralph, but he was popping off for that first stock. That was really good. Yeah. When you have, when you can capitalize on those like tiny moments that you get in teams, it's so big. Oh, look at Atma oh. just pushing him into the corner. 
So trying to do his best to create some space. That's going to be Nana. Okay, Red Team actually has a little bit of an opportunity, but man, it sucks because if you let Peach get onto stage at all, she's just going to hit down on that C stick and you have to respect it. You have to. It takes up so much space and it, it's so damning to both of these characters because they do well on the ground. Yeah, like the risk to reward is so skewed, right? Because if you get hit by that, especially the ICs, ooh. Yeah. It's, it's a lot. I thought Ralph was about to get a little infinite going there for a moment. <laughs> I was like, oh, the tree. Oh. Oh, we're gonna see down smash into down smash with the off the three off the tree combo, but this is looking Ooh. so strong for Dark Atma uh, Ralph right now. Yeah, Atma's playing or Ralph is playing out of his mind this game. They both kind of yeah, are. Atma's I feel playing like... really well too. He's doing an excellent job pushing them into the corner over and over. Yeah, any, anytime there's like uh, Dark Atma on Slug in particular, there's a lot of pressure. A lot, a lot of pressure. In oh there. man, Ralph again so fast on the reaction, punishing the grab. You got to be so careful when you're in that up smash KO percent. Ralph will be right on you if he gets any opportunity. Man, he, again, we have like a nice one-on-one -on -one situation. And both That's a two-on-one -on -one right there. And they were not able to do anything. Oh, oh, oh okay, that <laughs> would have been sick. <laughs> Holy smokes. He's crazy. He's going, he's popping off. Yeah. I probably would have KO'd too, I think. Okay. Oh, nice. That was, that was the tiniest wave dash I've ever seen. He moved, I think, two units <laughs> to space that. That was so nice. Perfect spacing. <laughs> Micro space, yeah. Ooh. Oh, man. Ah, the shine, unfortunate there, oh, but... Oh, Amsa didn't even get back to stage. Mm -hmm. How does it feel, Ice Climber, to, be, <laughs> to have two people on you? Well, this, I mean, so, okay, they went to Stadium, and the low ceiling has really been an issue because they lost at least two pretty early stocks on Zopo on the ICs. Um, I can see why they wanted to go there. Taking the, the top platform away from Fox is always good. Uh, Fox and threatened so much, being able to run on the top platform and react to things. And I, keeping the wide floor, I think, was good for the ICs. I think so, too. It also allowed for a lot more, like, kind of one-on-one situations. We saw that way more than the previous uh, previous two games. It's true. And they just weren't winning them. They just kind of weren't winning them. Yeah, like, Dark Atmo was really kind of pushing, going the distance with Slug. And even Ralph and uh, Omsa in some of those situations look pretty solid. They are going to opt for a different stage, though. They're going for the, the wider, taller platforms of Battlefield. Still decent uh, size on the bottom floor for ICs to work with, but... I think with the larger uh, area, too, it felt like they were just separated way too much. Like, Amsa couldn't get close enough to, like, kind of cover ICs yeah, there. Yeah, uh, Yoshi's just too slow getting all the way across the stage to help. It's yeah. like the wide stage does help ICs, but that's a good point, actually. Like the, Yoshi's not a fan of it. Like, the verticality is where oh, she goes. That was no meteor cancel from Peach. Yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes just, you're, you're not just ready. Yeah. Sometimes you're just not ready. <laughs> sometimes you lock yourself out. Sometimes that's true. You that's press true. jump too early, and you that's can't meteor true. cancel. That's true. There, even there, like, just Ralph switching. Okay, I know that even though you're Sopo, I'm just going to go and get um, the person on stage instead. Just that kind of decision-making on the fly is so big. Ooh, giving up ledge, Sopo gets back, but doesn't make a difference in the end. Oh man, and again, just look at Ralph doing an excellent job backing off, laying into shield, and the thing is right there, oh, whoa, is if he got grabbed by Ices, uh, Atmo is ready to punish immediately. So I mean, good by Slug to not grab, actually, but Ralph making the right decision to just run into the block. Oh man, somehow gets there in time to throw out that down smash. I don't know how that happened, because Amso was just like in the center of the stage, too. He was getting slapped around a little bit. And right. He was just like, wait a minute. I see. I see. <laughs> <laughs> and he nailed it. Couple 1v1 setup. Blue team again getting a little bit of push on red team, but they're not really applying any direct pressure. And this Sopo stock has just been lingering. He not only that, he gets the Peach stock with the F smash. Yeah, that's crazy. It's completely the opposite of what we were talking about in that stadium game. Now it feels like Slug is really winning out these one on one situations. Yeah, yeah, he's doing an excellent job hanging onto his stock. And, you know, you mentioned they were slapping Popo away and trying to focus Yoshi. That might not be the best idea. Like, mm. sure, Popo takes a long time to get back, but Amsa's so good defensively. And I, the Popo stocks were the one that really cost Red Team a lot, those early Popo stocks last game. Yeah. Putting him on the back foot. And also Yoshi just as a character is kind of equipped at the at, at lower percent. Oh, oh no. <laughs> no, that didn't actually. Oh, but it did work. <laughs> oh my God. He said, I'm not getting back, but neither are you. <laughs> Taking you down with me. Yep. Oh, oh that's scary. Oh, man. Uh, he goes to help. Yeah, even even though he takes the, the hit, it kind of stops at least the combo, right? Well, Peach was at a threatening percent. I think Yoshi up there off top plot would probably kill. Right, so, so I think it's worth it. Yeah, it, it was a smart idea to try to hold on to your teammate's stock instead of taking opponents. 
Okay, Ice is off stage. Fox off stage as well. Oh my god, that mash. <laughs> Yo, Icy's get so high off that side B when they have both of them. Again, yeah, Ralph's just opting to go to, to, to cover Dark Atma as opposed to getting the KOs here. Slug almost got a sick pick up off that back air. Still, I think, is going to get this Fox stock. And that is not going to kill Peach. Still okay, I thought it was right. going to. <laughs> It'd be very rare to see a down air or a forward air kill off the top like that. Mm -hmm. Wow, this, this is, like this is reversal. a deficit. It's de a reversal of the previous game, just like stock-wise and even just how the match went. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Finally taking the Sopo stock, but look at they've built 50 on Peach already. And they've shown they're getting relatively low percent KOs on Peach too. You know, mm -hmm. not living up to that 160, 140 range, dying more around 100, 120. Ooh, that a good was, reaction. That was really crucial to get the, the edge guarding there. Yeah, that, was, that was a low percent for Yoshi to die. Mm -hmm. That was crucial. But again, down to Ralph. He's again got three stocks. It's a repeat of game one as far as the stocks are concerned. And he did land, so he'll have a mix up. Ooh, not quite there on the edge guarding. Missing the grab as well. But I mean, they have, they have some yeah stocks to play with. I love that. <laughs> you shorten so high and you just fall right past it. It looks <laughs> hilarious. And also when they have like the, the, the edge guarding setup that they have, Ams is really not going to let go of the ledge, right? Yeah. Because he knows that you know, Slug is on stage. So yeah, Red Team has just been very sharp taking stocks. Mm -hmm. Like you mentioned, the edge guards have been great. Getting those early off the top KOs on Peach as well. Game five. Now the counter picks are kind of in a weird place because you can go to like a really big stage, but their issue for blue team has been KOing. And I think um, it can be a little tough when you, the Peach gets knocked away on Dreamland and the Fox has to deal with the 1v2, especially in a matchup like this. Mm -hmm. You know, it can be very difficult. Yeah, they've already so played do they on. Want, do they want to go to Dreamland? They played on like pretty much everything now at this I point. Mean, they yeah. can't go back to Stadium. They won there. Right. Oh boy. It's either. I That's, guess you can see why they're deliberating for so long. It's an odd spot to be. In. I guess. I guess Dreamland. Oh, but it's so big. Okay. And Looks I was like gonna FD. say FD might be the play. You know, they played, did lose their game one. It was relatively close. Um, Ralph. Kind of made it close at the end, but still, yeah, went to last stock. I think Dreamland is just way too much space. Exactly. And they just, yeah. just the, the problem they had is they couldn't cover each other as well and as if, they wanted and to. And if you're losing because the other team is edge guarding well, you're not going to Dreamland, mm -hmm. right? Because you're not going to get those those raw KOs. You're going to get edge guarded, so you want to avoid that. That makes a lot of sense. That's a good point. Yeah, dude, we got the split, and red team is winning. That's... They actually have the split right now. It's not blue team with the split. They were doing an excellent job. You would think that the red team would kind of be favoring some of those uh, kind of split situations, right? Well, it's more about the split uh, as far as positioning. Because when positioning, I say a team yeah. has the split, it means they're center and they push the other ones to the edge. Mm -hmm. And when they're taking away space, they I mean, blue team wants that more than anything. Mm -hmm. They either want the, the high pressure on the corner or they want the split where they're both. Ooh, this could be a little scary. All right, never mind. But yeah, look, down two quick stocks. They yeah, look, looking really good. Oh, OK, that was sick, actually. That was cool. The grab, and then Peach goes for the dash attack to get the knock up in order to KO. Mm. Peach can't straight KO off grab when Fox had the grab there, so they went for a really sick little setup to get the Yoshi stock and even it up. Yeah, sometimes you'll see like down tilt in that kind of situation, but dash attack is super good. Yep. Nice tech chase from Slug. Ralph tries to create some space. Atma's there, though, to, to follow up on it. Okay, can they get the edge guard on Yoshi? They just opt to go for the, the ICs, but that doesn't pan out too well either. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe Amso avoided that fair. Oh, there's a really good up B from Slug to avoid getting shined there on the right side. Super important. But Nana will get KO'd there. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I, I like that from Ralph, just wanting just to end the stock quickly so that you can go help um, uh, Dark Atma there on the right side. Yeah, especially knowing how long it can take Peach to... Peach can stall for quite a while, mm. you know, on the recovery. It is a good idea to recognize that. Oh, almost getting the grab there. Nice DI, but not enough. Mm -hmm. And now I think... Okay, I'm about to say the story was going to be whether Amso can make anything happen with this stock, but... Blue team, though falling behind, is evening it up over and over. We're keeping it close. This game five is delivering. They had they had like one second to put the pain onto Slug, and they definitely did that. They did like down, yeah, they did down smash into up smash into all of this, right? So while still keeping the, the momentum on him. That's that's big. Oh, that was such a good switch. I thought he was gonna go for Amsa, but all the way out for the edge guard, and blue team takes its first lead of game five. Oh, that down smash is huge. They've got 55 on last stock already. This time he gets the meteor cancel. Very important. Opsa still tries to, to cover it with the neutral air. Okay, egg works out. Opsa creates a little bit of space. He lets Slug get back. 
Blue team still has the pressure on it. Nana's gone. Is that going to be it? Okay. We're that was, even. That was such a good anti air from, uh, from Yoshi to go for that up smash there. Great recognition. Oh, gets the edge guard off stage. Oh, oh my god. And Ralph picks that up too. We're just going can back Slug, and forth. Can Slug hold on? He's alive. It really does come down to Slug, right? And how well can Amsa cover Slug? Because right now, Oh, Ralph is no! He went for the grab! You yeah. gotta know not to grab right yeah. there. It's and now, Amsa... Oh, Amsa jumps, shuttle jumps out there! He's like, get me out of here! Give me all the armor! Oh, but that's his jump as a result. Right. Ralph picks it up, and down to the wire. Blue team was behind that whole time, Dark Abba and Ralph. Down to the last two stocks, they finally take a lead. And I think, you know, it really... that. That grab by Slug, you know, it's so hard not to grab Peach when she dash attacks your shield because I believe it has um, an, in, an, in, an eternity for you to react and, and she'll grab the Peach. Yeah. But uh, going for the down throw immediately, like, that's it's a relatively quick throw, but Ice Climbers don't have fast throws. They just don't. You're, you're vulnerable. You're still throwing, yeah, so it just takes a lot of time. You're, I like you're throwing in more, way than one, more ways than one right there. <laughs> I mean, they played incredible, though. You, you can't harp too much on a single mistake like that. It was at the end, but, you know, the whole set leading up to that point was just great play from both teams. Yeah, I, I got to say the things that really stuck out to me is that the, there were certain one-on-one -on -one situations in the stadium game where it felt like Dark Adman and Ralph were really pushing it. And then even in that last, uh, in the FD, the last FD game prior to the, the last stock, they had one second to like hurt Slug before um, Amsa came back, and it was like down smash, <laughs> up smash. Wow, I'm at 60 percent. I'm off stage. I'm at 100 like percent now. I have to just keep side. I mean, he, he almost died too. Amsa right. came back and like created space just in time for Slug mm -hmm. to recover. Yeah, like it, that was down to the wire. Point. Yeah, I got a point. Oh, man, this, <laughs> still though, set. just to see Yoshi Ices make it to like winner side of this top eight and still presumably going to keep going on this run. <laughs> they, they were almost in winner's finals. They were one game away. Yeah. They were uh, two stocks away. That's awesome. So 